Well, good morning, viewers. Today we have a 2008 Nissan Sentra, and the customers brought it here because they are experiencing a stumble, a hesitation, a chuggle. After the engine is warm, uh, I just drove it from a cold start to warm, and I noticed a bit of a sag. I'd call it a sag on on light acceleration coming off a stop. Um, not necessarily a stumble, but somewhat, depending on how hard you accelerate it. Now, it does have 197,000 kilometers on this CVT, and the CVT transmissions are problematic. But uh, we're going to scan it and see if there's any codes, although the check engine light is not on. For some reason, it won't let me enter the mileage in here, but we'll do that after the fact. Let's see. We'll do a network scan and see if there's any, uh, any codes to report. My furnace. I'll pick up when we get to the end of this scan. So I'm going to do an all system DTC scan and it's pre scan because we haven't worked on it yet. For some reason, I don't have any record of ever scanning this vehicle and I've worked on this vehicle for the last few years. Maybe it never had a problem where it required scanning. Well, there are no codes in the engine control computer or tranny, no codes in the ABS codes in the airbag and anything else would be secondary I think I'll pick up when this network code scan ends because this Nissan systems are quite slow so we're at the end of the code scan scan nine computers and no codes in any controller wow that's rare hmm well We'll do a visual and see if there's anything that's likely to cause this problem. I'm just going to go into the engine one more time. I'm surprised it didn't scan the OBD2 side of the engine. It usually does scan that separately. But we might have to, because there could be a pending code, but it may not have picked it up in the enhanced side. Uh, generic functions, readiness monitors, see if everything's running past. Monitor is completed since DTC is cleared. I don't think the customers had the battery disconnected recently. Test complete, test complete, test complete, not supported, test complete. Yeah, everything's complete. So, scan tool's not helping us to discover what's causing this stumble, hesitation. So, I have a couple of ideas as to what it might be. Let's have a look. So I've got a battery charger hooked up to it because this code scan takes so long I don't want the battery to go flat. So first and foremost, I know that from experience that these things and in vehicles like this are prone to the problem with this, this boot cracking. So let's see. Oh yeah. So as you can see, the boot's got a tear in it. So the engine rocks backwards actually rocks forwards, backwards, rocks one way or the other on acceleration and that would tend to allow unmetered air in that didn't go through the MAF sensor. Now it's not bad enough to generate a, a fault code for a lean condition because probably the problem doesn't last long enough but definitely that'll cause a drivability symptom. That tear in the in the boot as you can see I can put my finger right in there. So we're going to order up a new uh, induction boot and I've already checked the tranny fluid. There's a little release tab on this transmission dipstick that you have to push in towards the dipstick to pull it out. The transmission fluid looks reasonably clean. It's full. doesn't smell burnt. So I'm going to assume that it's this boot that's causing the drivability symptom because it very well could be. And we'll hope for the best when we change that boot. So there's the air induction hose. It's called an engine air intake hose. I'd call it an induction hose. Part number 696-003 from Dorman. I've ordered one. I'm 90% uh, sure that that's going to fix uh, this drivability symptom. But we're, I'll uh, post a follow-up uh, in the comments if there's any other issues. Thanks for watching.